Even without any evidence of a quid pro quo, it's the number of donors that Clinton met with that's causing her some heartburn now, Vlad. Nancy, I want to ask you about the analysis by the AP that finds that more than half of the private individuals who met with Secretary Clinton had given money. How striking is that proportion? Well, certainly, if these AP figures are correct, it is pretty eye-opening that uh, more than half of the people on Clinton's daily schedule who she met with, had phone calls with, uh, who were not part of a governmental organization here or abroad, happen to be donors to the Clinton Foundation. Now, I will tell you uh, that a Clinton spokesman is pushing back on this AP report, saying that it uh, is based on completely flawed data uh, and that the conclusions are inaccurate. Uh, and at this point, there's no way for us to replicate what the AP uh, has done. Uh, so it's hard to know these uh, figures exactly. Uh, but according to the AP, when you add up all the donations that were made by these people, by their organizations, uh, it went as high as a couple hundred thousand, a couple hundred million dollars. Mm. Uh, Nancy, let's look ahead. On Thursday, Hillary Clinton is set to outline what she says are the dangers of Trump's so called alt right candidacy. Uh, explain this new line of attack, and for our viewers who may not know what the alt right movement is as well. Right. So this is a, a wing of the Republican Party that the Clinton campaign describes as far right, fringe, extreme, uh, made up of uh, nationalists, some would say nativists, uh, some anti-Semites, uh, w uh, white uh, supremacists, these types of folks who the Clinton campaign argues have now taken center stage in the Trump campaign with uh, Steve Bannon, the uh, former editor of uh, Breitbart, coming on board. They say that his uh, organization really highlighted these alt-right views that um, really have flourished online. So she's going to try to tie uh, Donald Trump to some of these views and also to argue that even before Bannon came on board, uh, that Trump's immigration policy, for example, some of the ways that he talks about um, minority groups, about Muslims, uh, other religions, indicates that he has these leanings as well. Nancy Cordes reporting for us tonight. Nancy, thank you. You're welcome.